madness has started again. Go down now! I'm not, I'm not no, no. It is appalling, very appalling, that in these days, people of the same language fighting each other. A condition that my offspring and I are regarded as a ruin. That is not acceptable. You people are you so fast. You came and you took our life. The fire ballet. Family that I love so much, I lost all of them. What is going on? Because things are moving from bad to worse. I don't know what your intentions are, but I can assure you, you will not get away with this. She has the children of the world from both towns, Ajay and Iludu. Our unity is not negotiable. Bad Banco! That's why you went to that stupid nonsense town, Iludu, to get married. Good evening, Papa, who are these? Ajay Warriors. Papa, Papa, Papa! Welcome to yet another amazing time with me. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Shadow Party. It's a 2020 Nigerian movie starring notable actors and actresses like Jide Koshoko, Yemi Black, Omotala Jalade, Sola Sobowale, Ken Eriks, Toyi Abraham, Shegun Arinze, Jibola Dabo, Rachel Okonkwo, Basi Okon, and wrote me Salami, as well as other actors and actresses too numerous to mention. Um, not too long ago, a few months back, I um, wrote a dissertation on conflict resolution. Watching this movie kind of brought it to life. This movie started in a way that I just kept on looking at it from my phone. I'm like, okay, what kind of movie is this? And everything just looks a cake. And I wasn't prepared for what I saw. Now, this movie portrayed that Yoruba tradition and setting in a way that was not obtrusive, in a way that was not, I wouldn't say offensive, in a way that you would appreciate the rich Yoruba culture. Oh, the setting, whoever chose those locations, did a wonderful job, did an amazing, brilliant job. You will not be prepared for what will transpire, you know, as the movie progresses. Now, this movie is about um, a communal clash between Aje people and Ilukon people and how far they were willing to go to waste lives, properties, kill people, kill innocent women, rape women, kill men, you know, make women widows, kill babies, you know. I'm so so shocked and, and I'm so amazed at how Tony Abraham, Tony Abraham is such an amazing actress, how she was able to pull that scene off with the people burning her and um, her baby. I loved the emotions that Ken Enrique's portrayed. It showed how in, uh, parties of interest in every communal clash and most communal clashes are not actually based on what even started the, or the fight in the first place. Different parties now want to encroach to benefit from it financially and otherwise. And you begin to see that you don't even care how many people die or how many lives and properties are destroyed as long as they get that satisfaction that they, are, that they want from the feeling of that communal clash. It's not a series. So everything was done every scene was couched in such a way as to give the viewer the right information the right communication that we were looking for there was nothing like okay everything was left nothing at the beginning and then everything being cramped at the end of it no this one was spaced and you know we were able to follow as a matter of fact my my annoyance with the movie if if at all was that it was ended too soon for me that's to show you how brilliant this movie is the ambience the yoruba ambience was amazing was so rich and you would be so shocked that there are some evil people that acted so i think there was no demarcation at all which gave credence to this story i'm being reminded of the mother keke clash the shakiri jaw clash you know lots of communal clashes is the, the shakiri jaw clash is a tribal clash but then you know i'm being reminded of lots of communal clashes in different parts of nigeria that have taken lives and property and no one seems to want to care as such all the people that have benefited from it have gone on with their lives and don't care it kind of shows even though this particular movie brought a you know a resolution to the whole problem you will see that a lot of people in real life in the real sense of the word having with prejudice that they cannot even understand that they cannot even defend and I loved Yemi Black in this movie. He was so astounding, even though his role was a bit minimal. Everyone's role was minimal, but everyone brought their best. I loved what 
Shegun Arinze did. I love Jide Koshoko, even when he tied his rapper and Gele, trying to evade the police and evade detection. I loved the way Sola Sobo Wale, she's always a fighter in, in her movies, you know, how she interpreted her role to the T. I also love Rachel Okonkwo. Rachel Okonkwo outdid herself. This movie cannot be forgotten in a hurry. I'll be rating this movie a 9 over 10. The director of this movie, Yemi Amodu, was brilliant. I have to comment the director because the director brought out everything in all the actors and actresses in this movie. Omotala Jalade did so good, did so great. Although she actually overplayed that role as a princess. I want to have my bath. I want laptop. I, I want that. But anyhow, though, <laughs> well, no problem. But at the end of the day, they brought this movie home. They did a wonderful job. Which brings me to the end of this review. Have you guys seen this movie? Do you have any comments? Please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Up there you see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and my movie reviews. Till I come away next time, it's bye for me. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.